the number one ranked UFC light heavyweight contender, Dominic Reyes, joining us from the gym. Dominic, how are you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. We will take the first question from Gabriel Gonzalez with Cage Side Press. Hello, Dominic. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, perfect. Thank you. I mean, uh, look, so you this is your second UFC title fight. Does it feel any different getting, you know, just preparing and the emotions for this one compared to February? Uh, not really. I'm preparing for a title fight, you know. It's a big, big, huge moment. Treating it the same way, you know, every opponent's the same. I'm treated the same way. I mean, you've said just about everything about John Jones and you know if it's meant to happen you know you you'll get back in there with him again you're focusing on the guys you have available for you perfect scenario you beat Jan what does Dominic Reyes 205 title reign look like who are you fighting and how active are you um I'm imagining uh you know I, I win this fight god willing you know um then I'm fighting probably uh, the winner of Tiago um uh, Glover, and then uh, we'll go from there. Um, as far as that, I'm not really looking too far ahead. Um, I'm assuming I'm, I'm I'm looking at that fight being sometime next year. I mean, you're a young guy uh, coming up. You had to have seen some of these other champions and been like, you know what? I want to be that kind of champion. The way he was going through opponents. Is there anybody whose championship reign you really admired? I mean, all the champs, you know, I, I've, I've admired all the champs. It takes a cr tremendous amount of dedication and focus and sacrifice to become champion. And whether it was for one fight or 10 fights or 30 fights, you know, I've, I've admired all the champions. Uh, can we shift gears a bit? Who do you have winning between Tiago and Glover? Um, I got um, Tiago winning that fight. And for Jan Vlahovic, what makes him dangerous as an opponent? Oh, he's an extremely technical boxer. He has a uh, good power. He uh, is a good counter striker, and uh, he's a super tough guy. And he's he's been through a lot of wars, so I think uh, it's going to be quite the challenge. Final question: There's obviously a big main event that takes place after you guys. Who wins between Israel Adesanya and Paulo Costa? We'll see, man. I don't have a, a pick for that fight. We'll see. Thanks, Dominic. We will take our next questions from Alistair Bishop with MMA Republic. Can you hear me? Yes. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Uh, my first question is, obviously, you, you both guys who had eyes quite firmly set on John Jones, do you think... Um, winning the title now without John in the picture will, will, will leave some fans with question marks, or do you think it's a chance to really stamp your own authority and, and really put your name on the division? Well, yeah, it'll, it'll be my title reign, so it won't matter what anybody else says or thinks about really anything, to be honest. And what is your competition hunger like now after facing your, your first defeat? Um, how, how eager were you to get back into competition, and, and especially for a title? Um, I was more eager to get back in the gym and, and fix the holes that I saw in my fight. Um, my thing is growing no matter what, win or lose. So I saw a few holes in my game, and I've shored those holes up, and uh, that's really been my focus. Um, as far as the next fight, it was, it was just a matter of time. And and how different is the mindset once you've f fixed those holes as best you can? How eager are you to get back out there? Just more to prove it to yourself that, that you've evolved as a fighter since then. Yeah, man, I feel like a monster right now. Um, and I'm very eager to get in there and, and show the world what's up. And the last one for me, what did you say is the main difference between the Dominic, the Dominic Reyes that uh, had the stunning head kick over Jordan Powell to the Dominic Reyes that's about to fight for his second title fight in the UFC? And I'm going I'm to say experience and uh, poise. Uh, I've learned how to poise myself, and uh, I'm very confident. Fantastic. Thank you, sir, and good luck. Thank you. We will take the next questions from Jordan Wahlberger with The Horn. Hey, Dominic. Good to, good to talk to you again. Hey, Jordan. How are you doing? 
Doing well. It's it's been a long road for you back of just like kind of not knowing what was going to happen. If, are they going to give you the rematch or whatnot? How does it feel to finally be getting that uh, that title shot and another opportunity for UFC gold? Oh, it's awesome, man. Any you know, a title shot isn't something that comes around you know every day. It's something that it's it's very special and you got to earn it. Um, I feel like I earned it in my last fight. Uh, it's really awesome, man. Fighting for a title is it's there's no better feeling. There's no better opportunity there's no better chance and uh i get, get you know back-to-back -back chances so i'm not gonna let this one go i know after the fight in, in houston we talked about how you thought that you that you won the fight uh are you going into this title shot or this fight feeling like hey i'm defending my title i i, I won i beat john jones back in february a part of me is but uh at the same time it's just it's another fight uh it's all about what have you done for me lately in this industry and uh this fight is is the latest and greatest Dom Reyes, so you'll see. Right. Uh, last time after you fought John Jones, Jan Blockowitz, he fought Corey Anderson just a week later. Uh, you know, obviously he had a great knockout in the first round. What does Jan do well? What do you have to worry about uh, in this fight? Well, the main thing I got to worry about with Jan is his, uh, his explosive power and his countering ability. I mean, he's, he's a very technically sound boxer, and he has good hands. Um, his takedowns are pretty good, but you know, I feel my wrestling is, my defensive wrestling is some of the best in the world. So that's something I'll address if I, if, if he attempts, but uh, taking me down, isn't that great of an idea. You know, he had losses on his career. Uh, you guys both have a common opponent in Jared Cannon near. Is there any opponent of his that you can look at and say, that's a good game plan or that's something that you can take away and bring into your fight? I might take a little bit away from uh, every fight he's had um, from, Way back in his K K W K S W K S W series, um, all the way up to the Corey fight. You know, I'm I'm extremely extremely good at dissecting my opponents and watching film and creating a game plan. I mean, it was it was obvious with the Jones fight. You know, I created the perfect game plan for that fight, um, and this is this is very similar in in game planning. So there's a lot of film out there on him, and and I've had a, quite a bit of time to visualize the fight and watch him fight and get ready for it. So I'm, I'm, I'm more than ready for everything he's, he's, he's going to bring to the table. All right. Last question for me. The majority of your fights have been in, in the U.S. You know, you fought in England, you fought in, in Chile. But w w have you talked to anybody who's been at Fight Island or, or been there to kind of give you that expectation of, hey, I've got to come in. You're going to quarantine in your room. Cutting weight's going to be in your room. What are you uh, expecting as you go over there? Um, so they send us a schedule. I, I know how it's going to go. I haven't talked to anybody that's fought there, but it's one of those things. We just got to roll with the punches, man. You know, I, I, I wouldn't, I would prefer to fight, you know, with fans. You know, my thing is, that's like the best thing for me is the rush of the crowd. Like that's, that's my shit. But, uh, there's going to be no crowd. That's like another thing I got to, you know, just roll with the punches. Like it is what it is. You know, I want this gold belt. So there's going to be obstacles. There's going to be sacrifices. There's going to be things that I got to do in order to get it. You know, not everything is pleasant. So just got to do what we got to do. All right. Good to talk to you. Best of luck next Saturday night. Thank you, Jordan. We will take the next questions from Augusto Niaz Gay with Somos MMA. Hey, Dominic, how are you? I'm good, Augusto. How are you? Fine, thank you. Dominic, my first question is, uh, how are you feeling for this fight? Uh, I, I mean, considering that you have said that maybe six weeks weren't enough to prepare a title fight, so so do you feel at 100%? I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to go. I'm training right now. <laughs> Get as many, as many rounds, as many seconds as I can in a day. We just have, we've had to, like, up it. We just had to up everything and, you know, fit. 12 weeks into six so i feel good about it though i feel i feel really good so i'm actually surprised my body uh adapted this well and shit man i feel like a beast awesome awesome and uh, uh, what about the the pandemic did did all this context affect you in any way to prepare the the title fight a little bit um there's a couple of training partners i couldn't work with you know they had corona or their family or friends had corona so i had to uh you know distance myself from them and it was an, it was interesting. It was definitely interesting. Um, it brought our core group together much much. Our group is much tighter now because I I got what I got. You know, with his family and friends. 
Okay. And Dominic, which aspects do you consider are going to be the key for your victory? Oh, uh, for, for me, the, the keys to victory here is just being sharp, being sharp, being myself, um, using my athleticism, using my, my fight IQ, and uh, just staying sharp, keep my hands up, keep my chin down, and uh, just have fun, man. You know, sometimes with these title fights and these big fights, you, you forget about the fun. You forget about what got you here, the love of the sport, the love of the game, you know. One-on-one, -on -one, you know, the truest form of competition. And I'm very excited to get back in there and perform and enjoy myself again. Okay. And what, what do you think about the time difference between Abu Dhabi and, and the States? Do you think that will be an issue? I think the first couple of days will be kind of crazy. <laughs> Good thing I'll be quarantined, though. So I'll be able to sleep and train in my room. So, I, you know, the, the time difference is always a little bit of a challenge, but uh, this, is a, this is an interesting set of circumstances. So I'm, I'm excited uh, to see how it all plays out. Uh, and what are you going to do to kill time uh, during quarantine? H have you planned uh, anything? Uh, train, <laughs> play video games. I'm bringing my PlayStation uh, and just sleep, train, sleep, eat, play video games. Okay. And um, Dominic, my, my last one. Uh, in the past, people's been talking about uh, Israel Asanya going up to the light heavyweight division to face John Jones. So if you win the title and in the future, he finally goes up to, to the 205 uh, pounds, would you like to face him? Hey, man. I'll face whoever wants to come up to 205 and fight. If they want to come down from heavyweight, if they want to come up from light heavyweight, I mean, from middleweight, then I'll, I'll fight them. You know, light heavyweight's my division, and uh, I'm about to prove it for a long time. Okay. Thank you very much, Dominic, and good luck on your fight, man. Thank you. We will take the next questions from Jeffrey Harris with 411 Mania. Uh, hello. Good day, Dominic. Thanks for the time, man. Hey, Jeffrey, how so you doing? So will you be getting a PlayStation 5 or, or an Xbox Series X? I'm going with the PlayStation 5. Okay. Now, do you have to think about for this fight, does the specter of the judging weigh on you at all after what happened in the last fight, or is that something, you, you know, you just can't even worry about or can't even control, you know, uh, for this title fight? Yeah, man, the judges, that whole thing is, it is what it is. You know, obviously the goal in every fight is to finish the fight. You know, you never go into a fight looking for a decision. Um, but sometimes you run into some dudes that could just take everything you got and uh, it goes to a decision. So, you know, that's not something I'm, I'm thinking about or worried about at all. I obviously enjoy finishing fights. I like finishing fights. There's, it's like, there's no better feeling in the world than knocking someone out, you know, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, I love that feeling and I want to get back to it. So in terms of matchup, styles do you think you match up well with a guy like Jan to have an exciting fight and uh have you watched a lot of his fights uh going into this matchup at all um so every time i fight i feel i feel like it's going to be an exciting fight i, I show up to fight you know I'm, I'm there to bang i'm there to put it all on the line you know i take chances i, I jump in the fire it's it's not i'm not i don't shy away from uh from the challenge um i I think it is a great matchup for an exciting fight. Uh, Jan shows up to bang as well. You know, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a really, really, I think it's a little bit underrated. I think people uh, don't really realize what we're both bringing to the table. Um, but I think it's, it's going to be exciting for both of us. You know, win or lose, we're both going to make a, a big name for ourselves. Thank you very much, uh, Dominic. Really appreciate the time and uh, good luck uh, on, your, on your fight. Thank Looking you, forward man. to this one. Thank you, man. We will take the next questions from Fabricio Souza with Diario Claren. Hi, Dominic. Hi, Fabricio. Well, the, the, from Argentina, many people have seen you win in the last fight with Sean Jones, no? Uh, however, it, it was a fight that broke your undefeated. How you do you see uh, that now? Uh, that uh, it's been way than you have a new chance for for a title, no? Yeah, I mean, I lost uh, on the on the official on the official you know officially I lost. So taking a loss you know always sucks. Nobody likes losing, but I gained a lot of respect from a lot of fans, a lot of people. Um, I, I gained a lot of respect for myself even. You know, I I did something that nobody's ever done. 
I outstruck John Jones. I, I had a great time doing it. You know, I, I truly enjoyed myself in there. And it really showed that, you know, I'm ready to I'm ready to go with anyone in the world. I, you know, I'm I'm capable of beating any anybody in the world. So it was very exciting for me. Losing losing that undefeated record, you know, it sucks, but it is what it is, you know. Yes. Uh, what you uh, show you look uh, for within the octagon of Black of Black of Witch? Can you, can you repeat the question, please? What show uh, you look out uh, for within uh, the octagon of Black of Witch? Black of Witch, man, he's 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 a good fighter. He's very very tough, he's tough, sharp, he's pretty quick. He he's a guy that's getting better as he gets older, and that's that's very impressive. Um, but like I said, I feel like I'm better, and we're gonna go in there, and we're gonna we're gonna find out who really is better. Uh, on the 27th. Yes. Uh, how you think uh, the uh, how you be the seeing the MMA with uh, without an audience so far, and how do you think that experience will be? Um. So it's been interesting to watch on TV. You know, it's it's kind of weird in my opinion. Um. How do I feel about it? Uh, it is what it is. I'm not. 100, I'm not exactly happy about it. You know, I love the crowd. I don't know if you've ever been to a UFC event, but it's there's nothing in the world like a UFC event. There's so much electricity in the arena, and I usually draw power from that electricity. But uh, you know, the belt is motivation enough for me. Okay. What do you think about the level of the MMA in Latin America? What do I think about the what? Uh, the level of uh, the MMA. In Latin America, what do you think? Oh, I think uh, MMA in Latin America is growing every day. I mean, kids are seeing that it's possible. They're, they're seeing that you don't have to be from a specific gym or a certain place to be a great fighter. You could be from a small town. You could be from from anywhere. It just takes a hard work. It just takes dedication, and you could be champion. Your whole life could change forever. You you could have, you know riches and fame and everything you've ever wanted. You just, it's all up to you to work. And uh, more people are realizing that, especially in Latin America, and it's, it's exciting. Yes. Dominic, you confess uh, to being a, a Lakers fan. Uh, yeah. Well, what you want the Raider have happened today? Clippers or Nuggets for the final conference? Uh, it would be cool to see the, the Clippers win so we could beat them up in the final, in the Western Conference finals, because the Clippers are trash. But... Uh, Yeah, <laughs> Lakers, man. Yeah. Uh, what uh, the last one? Uh, what uh, fighter? Which fighter you like outside your division? And what do you know about Argentina? Well, I know. Uh, I think Guido Canetti's from Argentina. Am I correct on that? Yes. Yeah, he's a, he's an awesome guy. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Um, and as far as outside my division, you know, I have a, I have a tremendous amount of respect for everybody who steps in the octagon, um, especially the other champions. So, yeah, man, it's it's a beautiful sport, and there's a lot of beautiful people that compete in it. Uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm super proud and honored to be a part of it all. Thank you, Dominic. Good luck. We will take our next set of questions from Pablo Santa Maria with Noti MMA Ecuador. Hi, Dom. How are you? I'm good, Pablo. Okay, the first thing I want to ask you is, uh, you said that you are in the gym, so you already finished your training session or you're going to start after the interview? I'm um, halfway, I have a little intermission to talk to you guys. <laughs> okay, uh, you already fought Jones. I mean, everybody thinks he is the GOAT. Uh, what did you learn from that fight? Uh, any experiences about that or how do you feel about facing yeah. that guy? That was that was an amazing experience. Um, I learned, you know, about composure and uh, pacing yourself, and how to go five rounds, and what it feels like to go five rounds, as well as what it feels like to, you know, put it all like I I put my entire heart and heart and soul into that fight, and it, it felt good. It felt good to be able to just perform and and just let go. I was free. I wasn't worried about anything. I wasn't scared about losing. I mean, it was. It all felt so natural, and uh, 
I, I okay. think I realized how much I really realized how much I love fighting. Really. <laughs> okay. Uh, you said that you earn a lot of respect and a lot of fans uh, because of the fight with John. And if you get the title and Jones gets the heavyweight championship, uh, you would like to have a rematch and go for the champ champ status. I got I got no interest in going up to heavyweight. Um, if anybody wants to come down or or up, I'm I'm all for it. But I'm a light heavyweight. I've always been a light heavyweight, and um, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, uh, you were asked about cutting weight on your room, and do you cut a lot of weight, or how much weight do you cut? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to okay, talk about uh, that. <laughs> You were asked about Argentina, and do you know something about Ecuador? Ah, Ecuadorian fighters. Isn't Chito from Ecuador? Yes, he is from Ecuador. <laughs> I know what's up, man. He's a beast, too. <laughs> yeah, Latin America, man, it's just heart. It's all heart. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy coming out, man. We, we, we have toughness built into us. That's, that's all I know about Latin America, I, you know? Just heart. It's all heart. Okay, and uh, you want to send uh, a message to all your Latin American fans? Love you guys. Thank you, Dom. Thank you, Dom, and good luck on your fight. Thank you. We will take our last set of questions from Ezekiel Burganzi with Super Luchas. Hello, Dominic. How are you? Ezekiel, how are you? Fine, thank you. So, how was the mental process of losing your undefeated record and preparing for this fight, which is a fight, a title fight again? Um, it wasn't so. I didn't really care about losing my undefeated record. Uh, what I cared about was not getting the gold. Um, for me, being champion is everything, and uh, to not get it in that fight that was so close. You know, it was it was tough. It was it was a tough, tough, tough pill to swallow, and uh, it lit a, lit quite a fire underneath me. And I've I've gotten much better since then. And what uh, which adjustments did you made for this fight? What things you changed in your game plan? Well, he's a completely different fighter. Uh, John John was. A much different style fighter. Uh, I just for Yan, I just got to be clean, cleaner and sharper, man. I got, I got to, I got to be on my P's and Q's. I got to dot my eyes, or else I'm gonna have my eyes crossed. You know, he's, he's a powerful competitor. Uh, which was your reaction when you got the news that Sean Shons was uh, leaving the title? I was a little bit disappointed, um, but. I mean, I guess that's understandable because I, I obviously want a rematch, but who knows if that's going to happen? I don't really, I don't put any more stock into that. And my last question is, what do you think about uh, all fighters that want to jump to divisions to get prize fight or money fights? Do you think that legacy is something that fighters should take more care? Um... Obviously, legacy is in, incredibly important. You know, it's 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 a culmination of the body of work you've put in throughout your career. Um, for guys who want to move up divisions and stuff, you know, that's that's their prerogative. You know, that's what they want to do. Um, every man has a choice, and and you could decide, you know, go divisions or not go divisions, or fight this guy or fight that guy. I mean, it's all a calculated risk. And at the end of the day, you know, it's it's your legacy and you, it's something for you to show your kids and grandkids. Thank you very much and good luck on your fight. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dominic. Those are all the questions we had for you, sir. We really appreciate the time and good luck next week. All right. Thank you, Chris. Talk to you later, man. That concludes the second UFC 253 virtual media day. We would like to thank everyone for being here today and your supporting coverage. We will distribute video and audio.